It does not come easy, but it is worth every single moment you put into it. When you put this coat on, there is an expectation that you will strive to be the very best version of yourself and do your very best by your patients. Your coat has pockets to carry your tools and devices and your name tag and badge, which will identify you as an osteopathic medical student and in the future as an osteopathic physician. But you, you carry the responsibility to help heal and to do no harm. Take that to heart. The coat itself may lay, weigh less than a pound, but the weight on your shoulders is far greater. But never fear, your faculty, your mentors and instructors, your preceptors expect it to fit just fine as you move forward. You grow into it with every step, one day at a time. Go forward with pride as you wear it and respect and honor the responsibility that comes with it. Change the world one patient at a time. Work hard and learn all you can. Propel well to practice medicine with purpose, passion, and skill. To use your head, hands, and your heart to listen and to always care. Never forget that at the end of everything that you do, every thought, every action, every deed, there is your patient, and it's your patient in the future. I'll keep reminding you of this. We are so glad you are part of our Western U family. Wear your white coat with pride and with a humble and a kind heart. Congratulations and welcome to medical school. Many of you had the opportunity to meet Dr. Conant this afternoon at our key supporter event, and I'd like to invite him back to stage to introduce our keynote. Thank you, Dr. Park. Thank you, Dr. Ferris Eisner uh, and Provost Crone for your inspiring message. Good evening, esteemed guests, faculty, staff, and most importantly, the class of 2027. It is an immense pleasure and honor to be here to celebrate this momentous occasion, the Comp White Coat Ceremony. This event marks a significant milestone in the journey of our future physicians as they take the osteopathic pledge of commitment and don their first medical school white coats. I want to extend a warm welcome to the class of 2027 and express our gratitude to all the parents, families, and friends, and supporters present here. Your unwavering support, sacrifice, and love have played a pivotal role in bringing our students to this stage. We're also grateful for all of those who have contributed to laying the strong foundation of education and excellence that defines Western U. Today, as we witness the beginning of your medical journey, we have high hopes and expectations for you. You were carefully chosen because we believe that you are the ones to lead and transform the future of healthcare. Your generation of physicians will be instrumental in shaping the face of medicine, and the future patients and communities will undoubtedly rely on your dedication and skills. I want to take a moment to acknowledge the diversity and unique backgrounds that each of you bring to our institution. You come from all corners of the country and beyond with varied interests, passions, and talents. Yet when, what unites you all is the shared passion for science and medicine. You represent the future of our profession, and we have the utmost confidence in your potential. As you officially embark on your journey to become an osteopathic physician, I urge you to remember the privilege and responsibility that come with your white coat, stethoscope, digital doctor bag. Your role as a medical student is not to be taken lightly. It demands dedication, compassion, and a commitment to service. The oath you take today and the one that you will take in four years must be held sacred as your future patients will entrust their lives to your hands. Throughout your medical education, you will be faced with challenges, both academically and emotionally. The transformation to becoming a physician and scientist can be stressful, but it is worth it. As you care for others, I emphasize the importance of caring for yourselves. 
Your physical and mental well-being must not be neglected amidst the demanding journey ahead. Exercise, sleep, and self-compassion should be prioritized, for they will sustain you through the rigors of your medical education. In times of uncertainty, remember that it's okay to make mistakes and to learn from them. Embrace failure as an opportunity for growth and always treat yourselves with the same kindness and empathy you would extend to your patients and loved ones. Your white coat is not merely a symbol, it embodies humanism, compassion, and service, values that you already exemplify and should continue to uphold. As you move forward in your medical career, never lose sight of the core principles of your profession, the lives of your patients and their families. Your commitment to their well-being will guide you through the challenges and joys of being a physician. Congratulations, class of 2027, on this momentous day. Welcome to Western University of Health Sciences, the College of Osteopathic Medicine of the Pacific. Welcome to the esteemed osteopathic family and the transformative journey of medical school. May you all go on to be exemplary healers, leaders, and champions of your patients and communities. I thank you. Now I have the, the great privilege of introducing um, an incredible man. I, I guess it's been about 13 years ago that we met. Uh, this man, while um, has, has been an incredible individual since I've met him when he was in medical school, he was a scholar, one of the tops in his class, and he's just been a leader and a trailblazer ever since. This I bring to you, Dr. Nameka Deribi. Dr. Deribi is an alumnus of Western University of Health Sciences, class of 2017. 20, 2017. He subsequently completed his internship residency training at Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs, California, specializing in emergency medicine. He has a Bachelor of Science degrees in economics from Enugu State University of Science and Technology in Nusuka, Nigeria, and a master's degree in mathematics education from the University of Phoenix. Dr. Deribi currently practices at trauma centers in the Coachella Valley, including Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Springs, California, JFK Memorial Hospital in Indio, and High Desert Medical Center in Joshua Tree, where he is active in infectious disease community. In addition to this, he has interest in resuscitation in the care of critically ill and has been published on that same subject. He is a member of the NBOME National Faculty and is a current diplomat of the American Board of Emergency Medicine. He is actively involved in the training and supervision of residents and medical students. Prior to medical school, Dr. Deruby taught mathematics in the Los Angeles Unified School District, works with UCLA Mathematics Project, and was involved in the mentoring of new teachers. He maintains a current California State teacher's credential. He enjoys his free time with his wife and practicing Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Without further ado, I bring you Dr. Deruby. Thank you, Dr. Connett. All right, good evening, everyone. Um, you know, it really is a great honor and privilege to be here speaking to everyone, because not too long ago, I was sitting right here, where most of you are. Um, just before I start, I just want to thank everyone that was involved in setting this up today. Um, most people never hear of people like Pamela Dunn, uh, Pamela Nunn, who I was in constant communication with. Um, I want to thank all the st uh, staff at uh, COMP and also all the physicians and administrators uh, that made today possible. And then finally, I would essentially like to thank you for choosing Western U. Most of you had uh, multiple choices, and yet um, you chose to be with us here today. For me, um, I think really the White Coast Ceremony is probably the most important of all the traditions that you are going to have throughout this journey that you're in today. Um, and for me, you know, going into medicine and going through everything that it involves, you're essentially becoming part of a family 
that is quite limited. Um, what you are going to have and what you're going to be able to give to the public, you'll find that most people would never be able to provide that level of service. And I think you are here today after all the struggles, all the studying, all the competition, the anxiety that goes with it, and then all the costs, particularly financial costs. I think the white coat is going to mean a lot of things to a lot of people, but more importantly, it's going to signify something about you to most people, and I think it's going to be a signal to yourself about yourself. There's going to be a new level of responsibility starting today to yourself, to each other, and to the profession that you've chosen. You're going to find that there's going to be a whole new level of trust placed on you by your patients, by the state, your colleagues, and even the public. And this white coat ceremony today will be a sign of accepting all of this. And it's also going to be a sign of a new beginning and also a new calling. This is going to be a calling to be part of a legacy of service, a legacy of selflessness, a legacy that will require empathy, integrity, perseverance, a legacy and a history of things that are good, great achievements, and also some pretty bad stuff. Fortunately, and perhaps unfortunately, all of you, as a group, and as an individual, you get to own all of it, all of the good, and also all of the bad. You've chosen a path that's not going to be an easy one. You've joined a field that demands unwavering dedication. Continuous learning, self-criticism, resilience, and sacrifice. You're going to have challenges that will make you challenges that you'd have to embrace to become the physicians that will make profound and lasting changes in the lives of others. Some of these challenges are going to be far in the future. Some of it will start tomorrow. Competitive colleagues, administrative requirements, self-doubt, the so-called imposter syndrome, more tests than you've ever taken before in your life. But I want to reassure you that now that you're here, everyone is invested in your success. Tests will only tell you so much. You're in this field where knowledge is always evolving and people's lives are involved. There are just going to be too many things that would never be judged in a test. But we will try. And we also have no doubt that you would rise and meet this challenge. The thing I would say is just remember that beyond this knowledge that you seek to acquire, there's always is going to be compassion, the power of a kind face, the power of a gentle touch. In the end, it's always going to be you and your patient and everybody else gets to look just above your shoulder. Your patients are not going to be riddles. They're not going to be diseases. They're not going to be cases. They're going to be people. They'll have hopes. They'll have dreams. They'll have fears. A lot of it's irrational, but also a lot of it will be rational. And they'll look for you for guidance. I think um, early in my career, this is, I think, while I was still in my last year of residency, um, this was during the pandemic at the highest point. I had two parents in the ICU in the UK. My, my dad was in the ICU, 
My mom was intubated. My dad was too sick to be intubated. Um, and you know, before this, I never really considered the possibility that my brothers and I would lose parents. It just never occurred to me. And yet, I remember having conversations with the intensivists in the ICU, asking questions I knew the answer to already, because they gave me all the information. I knew where it was going, and yet I wanted to hear their answers. I needed to listen to them talk about it so that I could internalize that reality. Then I go home, and then I go back to work, and then I manage my traumas, my cough and colds, the cardiac arrest, the stub toes, and the respiratory failures. And then in turn, my team and I, we get to guide others as much as they'll let us. I think this tells you a little bit about the privilege that you get to be a part of. These are gonna be moments that would mean a lot of things to a lot of people, and to you, they might just be fleeting. Because I can imagine that the intensivist talking to me was essentially answering the questions of a worried family member. And to me, hearing him talk about what's going on meant everything, even though I knew essentially what was going on. You're going to have moments like this in your own way, in your own fields, and I'm pretty sure for some of you, this has already started. And for others, this is going to be the beginning for you. And yet, you're not going to be alone. There are those who came before you and those who are here today for you, including all of us, and those who are going to come in the future. Today here, you've got colleagues, you've got mentors, you've got family and friends, and I'm going to encourage you to lean on all of them because they're going to be your network that will guide you and help you go through the next four years. 20 years ago, I, I moved to the United States from Nigeria. Um, I didn't have much, but I had an undergraduate degree in economics, and I had a ton of people rooting for me. I had a great network. And on this path to medical school that you are just starting, I had a ton of folks that provided a lot of support, a lot of advice, a lot of direction and perspective that was invaluable to me. People that I owe everything to. An immeasurable debt of gratitude, essentially. Some of them are members of staff here. Um, this is Dr. Christina Good. She probably is in here today, but she helped me in ways that I can't even start to count. There's Dr. Safawi, Dr. White, that I met again today, and obviously Dr. Connett. He invited me in, treated me like family. You know, as mentors go, he's one of the best. And you know, there are families and colleagues and friends who sat with me, the way you're sitting here with me today. My wife, that was sitting here with me on the first day of medical school. And they made all the difference to this journey for me. And I think in that spirit, I probably just have one or two pieces of advice for you as you go ahead. The first is to create and cherish your own network. Make new friends of your colleagues because as rigorous as your studies are about to become, you have to learn to lean on each other. When they offer help, take it. It's not a sign of weakness. And if you see someone struggling, please offer your help. Your humanity has to be your guide. And I promise you cannot care for patients if you cannot care for the person that's just next to you and if you cannot care for yourself. Your colleague is not your competition. There will always be tests. And for the first time, I guarantee you you are not going to be the best or the first. Many of you are going to be less than average. 
for the first time in many things, and yet you're going to be absolutely excellent in other things. And even then, there's going to be a lot more to learn. So I ask you to be kind to each other. This still applies to me, and it still applies to my colleagues when I work with them. Next thing is, you've got family with you today. Remember them. Do not alienate them. It's very easy to do while you're stuck in the grind of medical school. You're going to need all of them for support. I also want you to understand that all of you are unique. Every one of you is different. And I promise you that whatever you've done that got you this far may not work anymore. And when you look around at everybody else who looks like they're excellent, simply copying what they do may not also work for you. You have to be flexible and humble enough to accept it so that when you fail, you get to brush yourself off and try again, and then find your own thing that works for you. And then lastly, in the face of all the long hours and new responsibilities that you're going to find yourself in, remember what I said before. Remember to be the one that brings the kind face. Remember to bring the one who brings the gentle touch. Remember to be the one who is compassionate. Because the truth is that when you are at work, everybody else copies what you do. Despite everything else going on in the society now, please remember to embrace diversity and cultural humility. Because for some of your patients, it will make all the difference. Today is obviously a new beginning for you and for the Western U College of Osteopathic Medicine. And you've got this white coat that's a signal and a reminder for you and others of the immense responsibility that rests on your shoulders. I think my final advice is that you welcome it. Whatever happens, you and everyone around you, you're going to change innumerable lives. You get to choose, however, what that change looks like. And as you put on your white coats today, I hope you do it with a lot of humility and also with a lot of pride because you're getting to do something that most people would never get to do in a lifetime. And as such, I congratulate all of you on this remarkable achievement and I wish you all the best of luck. Dr. Barnes, please join me to share with us about the significance of the white coats. Oh. President Faris Eisner, Provost Crone. Dr. Lala, University Administration, fellow faculty and staff, distinguished guests, family members, and class of 2027. Trust. Trust. Look, it's simple. It's about trust. The doctor's white coat is a symbol of trust you will get a window into others' lives during their happiest moments. You'll also be with them during their most vulnerable. The profession you have chosen is all about people and the relationships that you make with them. You've learned a great deal this week about the ins and outs, the ups and downs of medical school, and I believe we've instilled a healthy fear of this steep hill that you're about to climb. But all this comes down to your patient's trust in you. When you walk into their lives, the most noticeable garment will be your white coat. 
For some, it will represent sustaining optimal health. For others, it signifies the ethical responsibility you have to your patients. As a kidney doctor, I can tell you that it's absolutely essential that you forge an authentic bond with your patients. When I walk into a room, I genuinely care about their families, their health, their well-being, their own perspectives on their care, and I don't shy away from letting them know who I am as a person and how much I value them. So when it's time for me to tell them that it's my opinion that they need to start dialysis or to get a kidney transplant evaluation they trust, that I'm being real with them and they know for sure that I have their best interest at heart. Your patients will trust you with what is most precious to them. They will trust you with the care of their bodies. They will trust you with their children, their parents, and their stories. And guess what? Your white coat will be there with you along the way. Of course, your white coat will have its practical purposes. In your right pocket, you'll place your reference material, the tools of the trade to include your iPad, stethoscope, otoscope, pens, and paper. But also, in your left pocket, you'll place all the knowledge you've accumulated, every skill that you've practiced, your compassion, and the experience that you've gained from your patient encounters. Okay, let's do an exercise. Students, close your eyes. Envision your path to becoming an osteopathic physician. Now envision your residency and the lives you will touch. Take a moment to imagine the specialty you may choose. In a white coat, some of you will share the happy moment of a couple finding out they're about to have a baby. In a white coat, some of you will diagnose appendicitis. In a white coat, some of you will hold the hand of a patient as you inform them that that tumor that they were concerned about is cancerous. In a white coat, some of you will comfort your patient just before you place them under anesthesia. In a white coat, some of you will embrace your patient's family as they've just lost their loved one. In a white coat, you will truly share your humanity and your humility. No matter what path you choose in your medical career, the trust that accompanies your white coat will be present. The trust that you have trained to the best of your abilities, the trust that you're placing your patient's well-being at the forefront, the trust that you will be culturally competent, compassionate, and caring to all your patients. No matter their backgrounds, beliefs, political views, race, sexual orientation, sexual identity, gender, religion, or creed. I'll say it again. You and your white coat will be there for people at their most joyous and at their most vulnerable moments. Imagine what trust that takes. You can open your eyes. So here it is, your white coat. It may not be your first and it most definitely won't be your last. It may get torn, dirty, and tattered, just as you will. But it can be washed, rejuvenated, and repaired to continue on your path with you. As you see your faculty and administration in their white coats, as you look around the room at your staff, please trust that we all have your best interests and success in mind, and we walk alongside you on this journey. As you don your white coats today, know that you've earned this opportunity. So go out there and learn, absorb, and engage the next four years. Earn the trust that your future patients will have in you. We believe in you. Now go do good things. Thank you. Can our faculty cloakers join me on the stage?
Will the first two rows of students please rise and proceed to the sides of the stage. Carpathian, Yerevan, Armenia. Brendan Heller, Corona, California. Tran, Lancaster, California. Nolan Assam Daffish, West Hills, California. Leanne Wong, Pleasant Hill, California. Michael Lidvak, North Hollywood, California. Nicholas Alexander Morataya, Chino, California. Pony Skandar, Canning Country, California. Aryan Bayat, Fresno, California. Leif Hamid Al Ghazi, Baghdad, Iraq. Ustaz Sidhu from Fresno, California. Luke Lefuego, Artesia, California. Uh, Joshua Makapagal, Burbank, California. <laughs> Justin Sean, La Habra, California. <laughs> Christian C, Ontario, California. Matthew Pasquale from Pittsburgh, California. <laughs> David Amari Rosian, Los Angeles, California. <laughs> D. 
David Lamb, Alhambra, California. Eric Al, Los Angeles, California. Timothy Han Chuang, Rosemead, California. Alesh Plifka, Irvine, California. Jonathan Ngoe, Chino Hills, California. Michael Dadbin from Tarzana, California. Drew Kutcher, Ashland, Oregon. Sunil Balmergan, Dunbar, California. Zuhair Chaudhary, Irvine, California. Rahul Shah, San Dimas, California. Rajeshwar Lali, Vancouver, Canada. Karin Jolt Singh, Burlington, Wisconsin. Nora Liang from Walnut Creek, California. Sydney Myers, San Diego, California. Stephanie Au, San Jose, California. Gianna Musalimis, I'm from Oakland, California. My name is Mitchell Gilzean Stoddard, and I'm from San Diego, California. Mariam Hadbeck, Pomona, California. Michael Bintang Trung, Fresno, California. Erica Shiyu Chow, Laguna Niguel, California. Kwan Min Dang, San Jose, California.
Farah Maudawi, Mission Viejo, California. Mohamed Khodori, Irvine, California. Danielle Hamadani, Montclair, California. Scott Hushaw, Linden, California. Kelly Jang, Tucson, Arizona. Garrett Chow, Laverne, California. Amanda Chan from Valencia, California. Anastasia Zilno, Sunnyvale, California. Pallavi Sripathi, Cupertino, California. Joy Chen, Roland Heights, California. Cesar Ortiz, Pomona, California. Marcus Liu, San Francisco, California. Karina Parmar, Bakersfield, California. Carson Louie, Stockton, California. Ayushi Bimokapadia from Bakersfield, California. Sara Bakari, Lake Forest, California. Davy Patel, Buena Park, California. Julia Bernadette Diamant, San Diego, California. Reyna Desai, Irvine, California. Arizona. Samanjali Reddy Kanmantha Reddy, Bloomville Hills, Michigan. Michelle Mata, Baldwin Park, California. Sachi Vora, Toronto, Canada. Alexandra Karis Whittle, Grass Valley, California. Virgil Patel, Fullerton, California.
Simran Soman, West New York, New Jersey. Carmen Vanden Heuvel, Johannesburg, South Africa. Kimia Ganjui, Fremont, California. Emma Randolph, Oxnard, California. Osnat Barazani, Los Angeles, California. Vera Wang, Diamond Bar, California. Brandon Norvash, Los Angeles, California. Spring Smith, Austin, Texas. Ryan Ephraim, Los Angeles, California. California. Daniel Mashiach, North Hollywood, California. Lori Silamazian, Pasadena, California. Arsh Mundi, Bakersfield, California. Andrew Pierce, Temecula, California. Ashley Yan, Arcadia, California. Ethan Harding, Marietta, California. Isabel Celeste Nguyen, Isa from Elk Grove, California. Young from Scottsdale, Arizona. Tiffany Tan from Santa Ana, California. Zoe Levin from Seattle, Washington. Deanna Nguyen, your Belinda, California. Hannah Ambari, Garden Grove, California. Tiana Chan Young from Fairfield, Connecticut. Nikita Shaw from San Jose, California. Sweta Magandi from San Diego, California. Rachel Battersby from San Francisco, California.
Elizabeth Chen from Seattle, Washington. Barbara Baung of Wing, Westminster, California. Nadine Nima, Glendale, California. Jocelyn Cassandra Gonzalez, Chula Vista, California. Walnut, California. Faith Louise Samson Lucasan, your Belinda, California. Penelope Adelor, Long Beach, California. Fuad Hajar, Aleppo, Syria. Yang from Hacienda Heights, California. Shira Gail Ramirez Santos, Chula Vista, California. Leslie Sim from Diamond Bar, California. <laughs> Tiffany Tadros, Los Angeles, California. Alina Kim from Pleasanton, California. Lauren Unde Jong, La Quinada, California. Jake Leung, San Diego, California. Mel Claude Viejo Cirillo, San Diego, California. County, California. Feher Chaudhary from Fresno, California. Patrick Charles Lee from Waterloo, New York. Zubair Ahmed, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Michael Chen, Pasadena, California. Sir Todd Singh Ball, I'm from Moore Park, California. <laughs> Nicholas Yedgarian, La Crescenta, California. Manas Avula from Pleasanton, California. Ramia Joaquim, Baghdad, Iraq.
Sagid Kandikatu, Atlanta, Georgia. Christian Joseph Sison Ginto, Bonaparte, California. Andre Betty, Los Angeles, California. Cecilia Ramirez Villanueva, Whittier, California. Gregory Eisenberg, Los Angeles, California. Mariam Anjum, Dublin, California. David Parvizi, Los Angeles, California. City, California. Vivek Gujarati, Scottsdale, Arizona. Mimi Das from Fremont, California. Victoria Lynn, Huntington Beach, California. Jeremy Pan, Irvine, California. Lily Liu, Irvine, California. Mark G. Jackson, San Ramon, California. Savan Kutkar, Series, California. Andrew Tarakji, Glendora, California. Ankit Arun, Shakopee, Minnesota. Varun Yelisetti, Upland, California. Shivam Patel, Yorbalinda, California. Ramton Sahafi, Mission Viejo, California. Jordan Miller, Thousand Oaks, California. Aryan Chaichian from Tehran, Iran. Allison Lipschitz, Calabasas, California. Sylvia Road from Winter Park, California. Tal Shoshan, Moraga, California. Mojtabo Sadeghi, Birjan, Iran.
Caitlin Smith, Pasadena, California. Akshay Soam from Ritala, India. Kazima Pinan from Monterey, California. Ali Khosravi, Toronto, Canada. Joshua Limbo, Buena Park, California. Ziyal Siddiqui, Pomona, California. Jacqueline Megan Agopian, Los Angeles, California. Anoop Jyot Garbant, Modesto, California. Yasmin Rabi from Toronto, Canada. Ishani Mohanty from Diamond Bar, California. Romina Shah Hosseini from Orange County, California. Isabel Bauman, Cameron Park, California. Ashley Barbarian from Los Angeles, California. Zachary Isaac Hall, Littleton, Colorado. Kaylee Simran Heyer from Laverne, California. <laughs> Natasha Sam, San Diego, California. <laughs> Ananda Lakshmi Shavasava from Chicago, Illinois. Huntington Beach, California. Austin Wong, San Ramon, California. Stephanie Cho from Fullerton, California. Lonnie Quinn Nguyen, Irvine, California. Jim Kaur Singh from Fresno, California. Amy Fu from Santa Clara, California. Megan Chella from Santa Clara, California.
Emily Lyon, Sherman Oaks, California. Mezzabine Muhammad Yusuf Lala, Los Angeles, California. Ami Patel, San Diego, California. Janelle Ho, San Jose, California. Chelsea Lee, Placentia, California. Brian Sath from Long Beach, California. Hung Do, Vietnam. Charan Preet Rai, Vallejo, California. Jia Chen Wu from Shanghai, China. Annie Chi from Tracy, California. Mission Nijoy from San Jose, California. Rachel Lee from Arcadia, California. from La Mirada, California. Kimmy Tanaka, Elk Grove, California. Cassandra Nyavi Tran from Fountain Valley, California. Angela Pham from San Diego, California. Rafael Brendan Campos Azaraga, Canyon Country, California. Amber Nicole Go, Roland Heights, California. Ray Wu, Palo Alto, California. Kelly Press from San Francisco, California. Samuel Metzger, Santa Barbara, California. I'm Christina Chen from San Francisco, California. Nicholas Chu, San Francisco, California. Saber, San Jose, California. Ip 
pick Midilolu from Davis, California. Chiaki Takabayashi, Brea, California. Kayvon Satanyenia, Victorville, California. Taylor Hauregi from Los Angeles, California. Annalyn Damontai Diaz, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Tommy Berry, Huntington Beach, California. Sean Kim, Fullerton, California. Daniel Bridger, San Francisco, California. Megan Blatt from Huntington Beach, California. Tim Pizarski, Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Jacqueline Vincus, Anaheim Hills, California. Ryan Morgan from Greensboro, North Carolina. Regina Gonzalez Brana from Mexico City, Mexico. Christina Shea Diamond Bar, California. Moira Williams, Davis, California. San Francisco, California. Lydia Qinglingyu from Guangzhou, China. Nima Masudapur, Rancho Palos Verdes, California. Priyanka Sony from Reseda, California. Ames Rivastava from Denver, Colorado. Tina Song from Tainan, Taiwan. JJ Pace from Victorville, California. Tao Vu from Vietnam, Vietnam. Matthew Lirak from Riverside, California. Vivian Yu from Gilbert, Arizona. Justin Singh, Cupertino, California. Cindy Tong from Hong Kong Island. 
Cameron Ansari from Placentia, California. Candace Lau from Temple City, California. Brian Shafter from San Diego, California. Caitlin Tong, Temple City, California. Kurt Panganiban, Cerritos, California. Ani Patrikin from Glendale, California. Yi Fan Zhu from Zhuhai, China. Emily Chen, West Covina, California. Kareem Harp, West Lafayette, Indiana. Ani Kuyajan, Glendale, California. Rupsha Chatterjee from Los Angeles, California. Aaron Kim, Plymouth, Minnesota. Sadia Khan, Pasadena, California. Dr. White will now lead the class of 2027 in the Pledge of Commitment. Congratulations, class of 2027, on receiving your white coat. The coat symbolizes your first step towards entering a career of both service and science. With any rite of passage, it is important to recognize the deeper meaning behind the symbol. Please stand and recite the Osteopathic Pledge of Commitment with me. As I embark upon my studies at Western University of Health Sciences, I will enter into a relationship of mutual respect with my professors and my colleagues to enhance the learning environment and to gain the knowledge, skills, and attitudes of a competent and compassionate healthcare professional. Accept responsibility only for those matters for which I am competent, maintain the trust expected of a healthcare professional, and never take advantage of the relationship I have with patients. Show compassion and respect 
for all others. Set worthy examples in the application of humanistic principles in my relationships with patients and others within the healthcare community. Work toward improving my sensitivity and skills in human interaction, understanding and respecting the differences among my patients and colleagues. Value the knowledge and wisdom of the healthcare professionals who have preceded me in the profession and endeavor to contribute to the humanistic tradition and philosophy. Recognize my weaknesses and strengths and strive to develop those qualities that will earn the respect of my patients, my colleagues, my family, and myself. Continue learning throughout all the days of my life. You may be seated. Good evening. We are almost done. I'm Dr. Jerry Thrush, Vice Dean Academic Affairs. Educating and training a medical student takes a village. The faculty, staff, administration, and clinical preceptors are major players in this education. In addition, we have outside organizations that also play an important role. Today, we are joined by Dr. Brian Loveless, Comp Grad 2002, Associate Professor of NMM, OMM, and Chief Medical Officer for Western U Health. He is also the past president and current parliamentarian for the Osteopathic Physician and Surgeons of California, OPSC. OPSC has been a faithful supporter of comp students and graduates for decades through purchasing the white coats that our students are wearing this evening, facilitating men mentor connections, or hosting educational conferences, OPSC ensures that students are welcome not just to a profession, but to a community. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Loveless. Thank you. I know, I know I'm what's between you and dessert, so I'll try to keep it short. But I was told I had a half hour, so. <laughs> OPSC, the Osteopathic Physicians and Surgeons of California, represents your voice, the student's voice, uh, at both the national and state level. What does that mean? For example, when students are being excluded from the ability to do rotations at certain hospitals uh, in Southern California, which I won't name, but it rhymes with USB, um, it was OPSC that was instrumental in, in getting those rotations opened up to osteopathic students, uh, utilizing, in fact, a law that I was, at OPSC was able to pass 50 years ago that guaranteed equal access and non-discrimination for osteopathic students in California. If you are a practicing physician and maybe you have trouble getting a, a job because of the letters after your name, it's going to be OPSC that's going to fight for you uh, and ensure that you have equal access to opportunities. Osteo uh, the Osteopathic Physicians and Surgeons of California represents 11,000 physicians uh, in the state of California, uh, but also represents students across three campuses. And we value the input, the participation of our students. Um, at the uh, AOA House of Delegates meeting we just recently had uh, in Chicago, the California delegation, of which we had eight out of 39 uh, of our delegates were students, uh, was able to pass four resolutions uh, at national level, and two of those resolutions were written by comp students. So when you put on that white coat and you look down at your, I think it was your left, left uh, shoulder, and you see that OPSC emblem, remember that OPSC represents your voice. We're here for you. Uh, as osteopathic physicians, we've got your back. That's kind of a little inside joke. Um, and when you, when you need us, when you look or looking for help, you're looking for support, we, we're the place that we want you to call. So on behalf of the Osteopathic Physician and Surgeons of California, welcome to the profession. Thank you. Class of 2027, please rise. President Ferris Eisner, Provost Crone, Trustee Lawley, faculty, administration, and staff, 
I present to you the class of 2027. Thank you. And with this, I now declare this event closed. Thank you. Please rise and remain at your seat during our faculty recessional. This concludes today's white coat ceremony. Thank you for attending.